Test one, two, can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? We're live. We're supposed to be live right now. Test one, two, three, four, test, test, test. Testing, testing. Walking in Paris right now. Gotta get some food. I haven't eaten, I'm hungry. I think it's bakery time. Oh, confused squirrel is here. Uh, Kenneth Colton is here. Look at all these folks. Pan Pan is here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jess C is here. The HBIC. Gas on the brain. Hello, everyone. We're going to walk to a bakery now. I'm going to try to find one where I can get some stuff. Hans Niskatuki is here. Clutch is here. Lisa Remo is here. Let me cross the street here without getting run over. Lynn Downey, AM Coffee. NDH. Foo Foo Fantasia. Angelina Knox. Sunny out today. Sunny out. How about that? It's sunny. We are going to walk down this street. Got a cafe behind me, people sitting outside at the cafe. We need to go to a bakery. I haven't eaten. I am starving. I am starving. Kangaroo Island TV. Hey, thanks, Kangaroo Island TV. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Sunny in clear blue skies. This is, this is the only clear day we've had. Clear blue sky. This is the first day since I've been here it's been blue sky. I didn't even think it was supposed to be blue sky today. Let me check the weather here. Let me check the weather here. Hold on. I'm checking the weather. It says 38 degrees. It's supposed to warm up. It's, it's early. It'll, it'll get warmer the next few hours. It's not even that cold right now. Oh, wow. Wednesday's supposed to be sunny. Great. It's supposed to get cloudy today, but not rain. That's fine. It's not supposed to rain while I'm here. Let's hope that continues. This little secret passage back here, little little side street back here. A oh, Rick Hoppy is here. Hey, Rick. Barbara D is here. Uh, we got a garbage truck. Lulu T is here. Hey, Lulu. I'm going to show you guys. We're walking down this street here and just, I mean, all, all these nice buildings, nice old buildings. Like this. Look at the nice old buildings. J.K. Skinner. Should I send bonjour? Uh, I saw a little kid this morning at the Airbnb, and the kid, I, the kid came out of like a doorway, and I said, Hello, and the kid didn't say anything. They said bonjour, and the kid said bonjour. Hey, K Body is here moderating. Thank you. So we're, um, I mean, look at the the building. It's just a regular street here. Mr. Worldwide. So we're going to go now. Is we're going to get some a bakery because I haven't eaten. And there's a bakery I have in mind. Uh, you know, we'll see if they have stuff. A lot of the bakeries, a lot of stores are closed Sunday and Monday, including a bunch of the bakeries. Yesterday, uh, Margaret and I, Margaret just is taking off today because she's are on her way to the airport. She's actually at the airport, but, um, but she has to go back and do some work. Um, so I'm here for a few more days. And uh, we went around yesterday and tried to find a, a bakery to get some stuff and like, a bunch of them like were out of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if that's because it was Sunday and, and like a bunch of the bakeries aren't open and they kind of, we kind of went late. Uh, but a bunch of them were closed too. So hopefully this bakery 
um, that I'm going to will be open and uh, have some stuff for us. But if not, we'll walk around. I'll keep walking until I find a good bakery. That's the first part of the stream. Hey, controller's in. The stream looks good. Thanks. Um, also, I am going to be covering the Supreme Court expected ruling on Trump ballot eligibility, which is 10 a.m. Eastern time, and I'm going to go live at 9 a.m. Eastern time, hopefully from my laptop at my Airbnb. So we're going to stream for a few hours. That's my plan. And then I'm going to head back and then do that stream. So that is the plan. But you got, we're going to try to stream for a few hours if I can. Graz says some shops are, also banks are closed on Monday in France. It's early here, 9.42. Oh, look at that street down there. It's going to be busy today. Rick says in Paris, anything can be closed. I agree with you there, Rick. I got to check up on my on my um, I got to check up on my phone. I got to check up on my phone um, where this bakery is compared to where I am. It's close. We're going to this bakery called Bowen Me. Bowen Me. Okay, it's right near where I am. So if I keep walking straight through here. And then I take a right. It's on the opposite corner. All right. Hey, Josh Tompkins is here. Darren Markley is here. Dr. McRib is here. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. So many neighborhoods here are pretty. It's crazy. Uh, all right. Let's... Jess C. caught our stream at 3.42 a.m. in New York City. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, I want to talk about this arc thing. There's a bunch of, there's like, I think four of these things in Paris, and this is one of them. And then the Arc de Triomphe is another one. And I have to look up. Somebody told me, one of you guys told me, like the Wikipedia entry for this. And uh, I can't remember what it is. Does anyone remember what it is? Let's see if I can find it right now. That is obviously, that's not the Arc de Triomphe, but there's like four of these things. Um, hang on. Four arches in Paris. That work? Yes, Port Saint Denis. Is this Port Saint Denis? No, this is not. It's near, it's, it's a triumphal arch in Paris. The Port Saint Denis, which is this is not, is the, was the first of four triumphal arches to be built in Paris. The three others are Arc du Triomphe, de Carousel, Port Saint Martin. This is probably Port Saint Martin. Yes, this is the Port Saint Martin. The Port Saint Martin arch. It is a Parisian monument located at the site of one of the gates of the now destroyed fortifications of Paris. It is located at the crossing of Rue Saint Martin, Rue du Faubourg, Saint Martin, and the Grands Boulevards, Boulevard Saint Martin, Boulevard Saint Denis. That's that's this. That's right here. This was completed in 1674. It was designed at the order of Louis XIV in honor of his victories on the Rhine and in Franche Comte. Built by in 1674, it replaced a medieval gate. It was restored in 1988. It is 18 meters high. The north side left, uh-oh. There's two sides to it. Maybe we'll go around to the other side. South side left is the breaking of the Triple Alliance. I don't know which one is which. No, this is the north, we're in the north. North side left, the capture of Limburg. <laughs> a sitting woman 
next to a lion. Is that what's happening? Hmm. I'm trying to see here. I'm looking at the site. It says north side right. That is the north side. The defeat of the Germans. Louis the Fourteenth as Mars carrying the shield of France and pushing back a German eagle uh, to protect a woman and an old man. Where's the eagle? <laughs> Anyways, Graz says the monument is dirty because of air pollution. I'm not going to go through all this right now, but if you look it up on Wikipedia, you can find it's Port P-O-R-T St. Martin. It is one of four triumphal arches in Paris. This one was built in the late 1600s and restored um, in the 1980s. Okay, now let's go to the bakery because I haven't eaten and I'm starving. Now the bakery is supposed to be right over, oh, on the opposite corner, uh-oh. All right, let's, we'll, we'll gradually do this. I'm gonna wait till the, to the I'm gonna wait till the uh, signal turns. See if we can find this bakery. Raven Riley says bakery time, yes. Bakery time. If it's open and they have stuff, which remains to be seen. You know what, I think I can walk right through here. Yeah, it's really nice out today. Right through here. Now, I'm not seeing the bakery. I thought it was supposed to be like over here somewhere. Well, I'll look it up on my, I'll look it up on my maps. Wow, it's so nice today. It's the first really sunny day since we've been here. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's supposed to warm up too. Really nice. Thanks for joining me for my walk. Ruth Grafasi says it's gorgeous. Okay, now. Wow, you, you can look at that while I look at my maps. Dizzy Dale, some, I, I'm, I'm hungry too. Please grab me something. Okay, uh, it must not be here. Oh, there's a, I see, I see the issue. I see the issue, I think. I think we have to go down this street. We have to go down this street, I think. Let's hope I'm right. And there's like a side street down here. Okay, let's see. Look at this, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Confused Squirrel says it's a beautiful city. Yes, it is. Hey, Dr. McRib, glad it's good. This is it. We got it right here. Hang on. We found it. So what I want to do, guys, hang on a second. There's a way I'm going to do this. It's Bow and Me. Bow and Me, which is a boulangerie. So let me go inside and point the phone up at myself. And if I can show you some of the food, I will, okay? I'm going to try to deal with this and not, not draw excessive attention. Okay, there's going to be music here, so... Ooh. Hang on. Okay, so I'm in a big line now. That's not the breakfast stuff. That's dessert stuff. I'm not gonna have that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna pick out a couple things 
but I'm trying to be discreet. I'm not... Uh, I sort of want to take the phone off the gimbal. I'm going to leave it on the gimbal for now. I'm looking for more of the breakfast stuff. There's quiche here too. I could get a quiche. I could get a piece of quiche. There is a quiche chevre. What's in quiche Lorraine? I'm gonna look up what's in quiche Lorraine. I think that's the one in the back. Anyone know what's in Quiche Lorraine? Quiche Lorraine. Cream, eggs, and bacon or ham. Right there. I could try the Quiche Lorraine. Maybe I'll try the Quiche Lorraine. All right, I might do that. That's in the back. Ham and cheese. Okay, so we, we, might, try, we might try a Quiche Lorraine. That's the one in the back there. They have sandwiches here. Oh, they have croissants. I'm gonna get a bunch of things. I'm gonna get a bunch of things and then we're gonna sit down and taste them, okay guys? So, I'm gonna get a bunch of things and we're gonna sit down and taste them. That's what we're gonna do. They have all, I'm not gonna get this stuff, but it's looks delightful. Gonna get the one back there. Back there. Oh, the quiche Lorraine, it says it's 490 sore plus if you eat it on the spot. Oh no, if you eat it on the spot, it's 50, extra, 50 cents extra. But anyways, it's like, it's like five, five, six bucks for a piece of quiche but I think I'm gonna get it because I'm hungry. Hey, NDAH, thanks so much, NDAH, for the super chat. I appreciate that, NDAH, very nice of you. So they have a bunch of sandwiches here. That's a, it says poulet, fried chicken sandwich. I'm not gonna get that. Uh, salmon bagel. Hang on, guys. So those sandwiches, like on the French bread, that's a big thing here. I think for lunch later, I might get one of those. That's the quiche right there. Busy. This is Bo and Me, B O and Me, M I E, which is a uh, boulangerie. Asia Sims is here. This is pastrami sandwich. I will not be getting that right now. Salmon bagel. I won't be getting that. I just want to get maybe a piece of quiche, and I'm gonna try. There's a bunch of see these breakfast things here. That's what I'm gonna try. The um, there's croissants there. I want to just got to see what's over there when we get over there. Big line here. I'm, I'm not. I'm just showing the food. I'm not showing people. I want to be discreet. Uh, that's toast. That's a ham and cheese thing. Pretty typical here. Maybe later I'll get something like that somewhere, but not right now. Okay, so I'm gonna get a croissant and taste it. Those look good. Croissant de beurre. Croissant au beurre. There's going to be a pan au chocolate, I think. Oh. 
I have to look over and see what they have here. I might not even get the quiche. They have a croissant au beurre, which I will get. Pan a chocolat. I'm gonna get a pan a chocolat because that's the that's that that's the that's the the third thing in is the pan a chocolat, and I'll get one of those. And then if they have an apple thing, I'll get that too. And if they have a bread with raisin, I'll get that too. And then up here they have these things right there. Right there. I'm not going to get that. It looks like some kind of roll with stuff on it. I should. They have a New York roll vanilla. Pan au chocolat. Pan au praline. Oh, I, somebody says try something new. I will. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try something new. They have a pan au praline. Praline croissant. They have a raspberry croissant. Maybe I'll get a raspberry croissant. And a pan au chocolat. And... What is this one? Caramelized puff pastry. I don't want that. This is a brioche. Oh, that looks good. Uh. Oh, bonjour. Um, je voudrais un croissant, de, uh, croissant au beurre, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to try it, guys. One of those, pan au chocolat, just to compare it, and then I'm going to try. Maybe I'll try the raspberry croissant. They have pan au praline too. That's two, four is too many though. Should I quickly? Should I get the pan au praline or the raspberry croissant? Which one should I get, guys? Pan au praline or a raspberry croissant? We uh, uh, oui, uh, un uh, pan au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Ah, uh, ici. Ah, uh, sorry, we. Oui. I'll get both. Um, un uh, pan au praline, s'il vous plaît. Uh, et, et un uh, croissant uh, framboise, s'il vous plaît. Oh, uh, et un croissant au, croissant au beurre, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. Uh, uh, no, 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 Missy. No, Missy. Okay, I got four of them. I got four things, guys. They have this stuff too, but I'm not getting it. All right, hang on. Card. <laughs> Missy. 880. 8 euros 80. Merci. Pardon. Uh, a receipt, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this. For you guys, I got <laughs> a ton of stuff. Wow. Well, guys, we got a lot of stuff. I'm going to have extra... 
I'll get a bag. <laughs> She's got a lot of things. Oops, I forgot napkins. I need to get some napkins. Hang on. Hang on a second here. I'm going to ask where the napkins are. Uh, pardon. Who uh, has uh, napkins, serviettes? Oh, merci. Okay, I need to go get some napkins. So hang on guys, I'm going to go get some napkins. I got it. Oh, pardon. Here we go. Now. Okay, hang on guys, give me a moment. Give me a moment here. We're gonna get this down here. So you can see me. Hello. Okay, so. Let me put my bag down. Water bottle. We are inside uh, the Beau and Me Boulangerie. I just got four things. I got a bunch. I got four things, and uh, it was eight eighty. Eight. It was eight eighty for four things, which is about nine dollars. All right, hang on. So here we go. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about this. It's about ten a.m. here. So I'm just taking, hold on a second. Uh, hold on, I have to message Margaret for a second. Um, okay. So um, give me one second here. Just grab this receipt. Okay, so this was eight oh eight sixty. It was eight sixty. One more thing. Hang on. One more thing. One more thing. How's the sound, guys? All right, sound okay? Sound okay? Well, I think I successfully was able to order without disturbing everyone here. That was the goal. Okay, so let me show you what we got. Let's show you what we got. So we're in Bow and Me Bull. Uh, also, I was successfully able to order in French. My French is very bad, but at least I did that. So, I have had before the pan au chocolat and the, sorry, there's like a little bit of um, flickering on the camera. I don't know what that's from, the flickering, but whatever. Um, if I do that, do you still have flickering? No, it's something about like the, 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 the lighting or something. Anyways. Uh, There we go. Regular croissant. Pan au chocolat. I've had those two other places, but I want to compare them. And I've never had a raspberry croissant, and I never had a praline, uh, pan au praline, which looks like it, um, 
Now, pre-leans, if I remember right, it's like a sweet, oops. Hang on, hang on a second here. Um, pre-leans, P-R-A-I-L-N-E, a smooth, sweet substance made by boiling nuts and sugar and grinding the mixture, used especially as a filling for chocolates. Praline. Confections containing nuts, usually almonds, pecan, and hazelnuts, and sugar. So this has pralines in it, but also it has chocolate on it. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I, got, I got to take some comments from you guys. All right, first of all, let me talk to you guys. Sorry, it's, I was dealing with all of this stuff here and wasn't able to read the comments. So hang on. Let's 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 take some comments. Dig in here. We're in no rush. We're certainly in no rush right now, okay? We're in no rush. So let's talk about this. I have never had the raspberry one and the praline one. Should I try that first? Which one should I try first? And let me, let me look at some comments here. Um, all right, hang on. Hang on, I'm also doing this so I can go back in the comments. All right, so Raven Riley thinks, uh, Raven and Rune think I should try the raspberry one. And then Graz says the praline. So what I will certainly do first is I will try the two first that I've never tried before. Praline, not praline, isn't it praline? Guys, how is praline pronounced? Can, can, so, somebody's claiming I'm pronouncing praline wrong. I don't think I am, but... Uh, you can tell me. Hey, uh, Ron RLF Captures is here. Marlena Martirano is here. Oh, pawn in pawn in the end is muted. Really? Is it? Pa? It's not pa. It's pawn, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting some bad pronunciation advice by some people in the chat. All right, well, Linda Gordon says raspberry. Yeah, all right. whoever said praline is praline is just wrong. Uh, Pam Turner is here. Okay. Kangaroo Island TV says, Raspberry and praline, I want to see what's inside. Can be both praline and praline. Okay. Texas Annie says, LOL, the pronunciations. Rick Hoppy says, both pronunciations are fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up here. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to put this down. I'd, I'd like to just be able to focus... Here. Oops. Okay, there we go. So you're looking at it right now. There you go. I have everything here. And I'll try one now. This is good. I'm just I we don't have to rush. Alright, so alright, let's guys, we're gonna take a vote. We're going to try either this one, which is the praline. It's pan a praline. That's bread with praline. It has chocolate on it too, and raspberry croissant. Which one? Do you, which one? Which one should I try? Of the praline. Yeah, Rick says, take your time. We have a vote for raspberry from KG. By the way, I, I, I might be pronouncing this stuff wrong, but let's not, let's not get hung up on the pronunciations, okay? I'm not going to worry about the pronunciations right now, so don't worry about it. Um, do you know what I mean? Okay, I think raspberry is winning. No, whatever, I'm just eating here. I didn't wash my hands. I wash them at home, it's fine. In Dutch, it's pralina. Okay, whatever. Enough. I don't care about the. I'm done with the pronunciations. We're done with pronunciations. It's time to try this stuff. Okay. So raspberry one. 
We're trying this first. So this, let's move this, let's move raspberry over. Ooh. So these are also light. It's so light. You look at these, it's going to be heavy, but it's kind of light. Well, it's not. These are pretty light. This one is, no, they're all light. They look like they're going to be really heavy, but they're light. Okay, so let's go. First one. First one here. I have, I have two phones. <laughs> all right, here we go. So I'm going to put one phone right here. Okay, I'm going to open this up before trying it. This is a raspberry croissant. I've never had one of these. Yes, yeah, as Grotto Rob, it says it's pronounced who cares. So I'm, I'm going to open this up for you here. Here we go. Ready? Ready? <gasps> oh, it's colored on the inside, too. Oh, and it's got some, oh, it's got some jam in there. I thought it was just maybe the outside that had the raspberry stuff on it, but it's got some jam in there. It's got some jam in there. Look right there. I don't know if that, that might be a piece of raspberry. They're light because they're made with magic, says Rick. Okay, so we're gonna try this now. Raspberry croissant. I did not know this would have um, this would have red on the inside. All right, are we ready to try this? Are we ready to try this? Here we go. First bite. Looks like maybe a piece of raspberry right there. Here we go. So pink. Bet it's yum. Frambois. Is it frambois? Is that how you pronounce raspberry? I think it was a uh, croissant frambois. Am I pronouncing that right? Frambois. Raspberry croissant, here we go. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. First bite of my first first food today. Raspberry croissant. It is really good. It is really good. Um, it's a good croissant. It's buttery, and it has the bonus of uh, the raspberry. The bonus of the raspberry. So it's really good. Mm. 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 Fantastic. It's fantastic. Better than I thought it would be. Better than I thought it would be. Seriously. Um, it's, you taste the raspberry, you taste the jam, and it's a really good croissant too. It's, it's light, but, it's, but when you start eating it, you taste the butter. It's really good. All right, so we'll eat some more of that. We'll eat some more of that in a second. But we're gonna, it's, it's time to try another one. Maybe I'll have one more bite here. Look at that right there. Look at that. Take that piece off right there. Mm. Mm. It's really good. That is better than I thought it would be. Mm. Okay. Okay, that was fantastic. I, I haven't eaten the whole thing yet, but really good. Right, let's go back here. Hang on. One moment. One moment here. Okay, now, next up, we're going to try this one next. Now, this is another thing I haven't tried. As we move these out of the way, that's better. This one. So this is, 
Texas Annie says, I'm never going to look at the air fryer the same after this trip. Okay, so... Breakfast sandwich croissants? Yeah, I would like to have one, Hanyal. I haven't come across it yet, so maybe the next couple days I will. Um, so the next thing we're going to try is... Marks out of 10. I mean, it's at least a nine, but I always am open for better. But this is really good. Okay, so this is a pan. It's like pan, this is pan au chocolat, and this is pan au praline. So this has, I think that might be chocolate stripes, but it also has these little, little hard sweet nut pieces, I guess, like nuts, sweet nut pieces inside it. That's my understanding, because it's pan au praline. So we're going to try this one next. I've never tried this one. And we're at the Bowen Me Bakery, Boulangerie. Right? So let's next, we're going to rip this, rip it off. Again, it's the basic same shape as the pan au chocolat. But this is pan au chocolat. Has, has, you can see the stripe of chocolate on the inside. We'll see that later. Pan au praline. All right, so let's rip this one open. Ooh, look at that. Hey, Janet Burnett is here. Thanks, Raven and Kay, for modding, and anybody else who's modding out there. Oh, um, there's probably Twitch chatters, too. Sorry, Twitch chat. The way I'm doing the stream right now is right now I'm looking at my phone. Normally, I'm looking at the phone that's doing the streaming, but I have it kind of set up here, so I'm looking at my second phone. So hello to the Twitch chatters as well. All right, here we go, guys. Let's open this one up and see what's inside. Are you ready here? Can you hear this? Can you hear that little crunch there? Here we go. Oh, it's crackling. Ooh. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. So, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Help me out. It's pan au praline. Is that... I thought pralines were little things. This has like a this has like chocolate inside, or is it is it nuts and sweet nuts stuff? Because I thought pralines were little things. Can someone tell me what I'm, what's happening here? Oh, it's, this fell out. This was a piece of it. Hazelnut paste. Praline is a hazelnut paste. Let me read about pralines again. Nut confection. A Wikipedia says, Pralines are confections containing nuts, usually almonds, pecans, and hazelnuts, and sugar. Cream is a common third ingredient. Okay. Basically, it's a uh, French pralines are a firm combination of almonds and caramelized sugar. American pralines, a softer, creamier combination of syrup and pecans, hazelnuts, and almonds with milk or cream resem re resembling fudge. All right. So, my impression of this is that the praline is the stuff on the inside, and it's made of nuts and sugar and maybe other stuff. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to try right now the pan. Look at that, wow. Pan au praline. Here we go, pan au praline, time to try this. Time to try this, here we go. It's really good. Mm. That's really good. It has that, you um, get this awesome baked good. The pan, the bread is great. Buttery, fluffy but buttery. And then you have that tasty, sweet, sort of chocolatey. Well, gets, I think maybe some chocolate up here. And then you get this tasty filling, the praline filling.
Right. That bite didn't have as much as the filling. If you can get more of the filling, it's better. So like this, this bite has a bunch of the filling. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Fantastic. I really like the raspberry croissant. It's great, but this is even better. Look at that. Look at the goodness. Um, by the way, all four of these were basically $9, maybe a little less than $9. That was about $9 for all four of these in a, like a nice bakery. It's very nice in here. It's not like a convenience store or something. So all four for basically nine dollars. Last, last this little last piece. Here. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Okay. Okay, guys, we got two more to try. We got two more to try here, but. I've even finished those. I've eaten half of each of those, and they're amazing. I agree, Marla. It's a very decent price. Robin says four of those cost around 12, 12 pounds in London. In the U.S., if you were in a major city and you went somewhere and bought these, well, this quality would be way higher for this quality. But I can't imagine they would be this price in, in the U.S., like in New York or something. But, okay, so we tried. So, we've tried this. No, I'm not, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I'm just having water. Maybe milk would taste better, but I'm just having water. So, we tried this one. That's fantastic. That's the one with pralines. We tried the raspberry croissant. So we have regular croissant, and we have pan au chocolat. I'm gonna try the regular croissant because we just had a pan, like the same shape, and this has chocolate in it. So I have had a bunch of these in Paris. Um, many of these have been great. I have had some fairly average croissants. We went to a bakery yesterday. Now, we didn't go like right in the morning, but there was a bakery we went to yesterday. It had like a 4.4 rating on Google. And we had one croissant, and it was fine. It wasn't that great. When you start having them every day, you, you know, you start seeing which ones you like better or worse. So we're gonna see how this one does. Uh, very nice shape here, nice and light. Gas on the brain is here. Robin says, uh, croissants aren't cheap in London unless you shop at Tesco. Yeah, I like the praline one. I mean, they're both great, but for me, the praline one is better than the raspberry croissant, but I, I love them both. They're both great. They're both great. The raspberry one is great. Is it breakfast here? Yeah, it's like 10, 10 24 a.m. Light and fluffy and buttery, says Ruth. All right, so we're going we're gonna to open this one up. Let you see me open it up. Watch. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. says, I love the crispy ends of the plain croissant. All right, we're going to try this now. Now, I've had a bunch of these here while I'm here. I'm going to try this one right now, but you can see. Susan says it looks so legit. How is the uh, how's the sound, guys? The sound okay? Sound okay for you? Can people hear me all right? Sound is fine. I'm talking pretty softly right now. I'm, I'm talking softly. I'm 
really making an effort to not talk loud. Like, you, you can't hear me. There's people talking with better than me. Sound is always great. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks for the DJI mic. All right, here we go. Let's try this one. Let's try this croissant. Let's try the big part. Here we go. The croissant is really good. My issue with this croissant compared to other ones I've tasted here is I like the ones that are more buttery. This one is fine, it has butter in it, but the really buttery ones, you bite into them and as you and it, and it kind of you kind of think like mentally it's going to be dry and then you start chewing and you start tasting the butter, the butter coming out. This one, you have it and you eat it, it's really good, but it never gets that moist you don't get that feeling of the butter squirting out into your mouth. It's a, it tastes really good. It tastes good. That bite was better. That, way, that bite was better. That was more buttery, that bite, for whatever reason. So this is a good croissant. It's good. It's enjoyable. It's not the best I've had here. And I don't like this croissant as much as I like, I don't like this croissant, regular, here, as much as I like the raspberry croissants here, or the pan au praline here. So, that's three of the four. So, so far the ranking is number one, a very close number two. Number three, still great, still great, still really enjoyable. The last thing we're going to try is the pan au chocolat, which has a line of chocolate running through it. Very popular item here in France, in Paris. Uh, I'm going to take some comments now. Linda says, all the streams look and sound good, great. Is, yeah, so it's, it's, I mean, believe me, having this is, is great. It's just, it's not, it's not as good as these two. Rick says the croissant is all about the butter. Um, Pam says, I like croissant with chicken salad or ham. By the way, I'm glad I didn't get the quiche. This is more than enough, but people wanted me to try a couple new things. I, I got this and this because I wanted to keep trying ones I've tried other places. I think it's really cool to like every day have one of these. I think it's really cool to every day have one of these and see how like a regular croissant compares to different places and see how a, see how, how a pan a chocolat compares to different places. But I hadn't tried a raspberry one, which is fantastic. And I had not tried this uh, pra, pan a praline, which is amazing. Kay is modding. I'm sorry if I'm missing the, missing the Twitch comments because uh, normally I can see them all at once. Let me see if I can open up the Twitch app on my phone real quick. Do I have the Twitch app on this phone? Yes. Okay, I can see on the channel. Hey, okay, LT Gray says, you should be wearing a raspberry beret. Mr. Prawn says, the, the kind you find in secondhand store, there you go. Uh, Starchface says on Twitch, I wouldn't even bother getting the regular croissant. Starchface says, things are double the price of just a few years ago. Again, all this together was about $9. Controller Zen is here. Controller Zen says, I don't think I've ever had a 9 out of 10 pastry, maybe 5 out of 10 at the most. I'm envious. Mrs. Craven says, thanks Nutella for the pralines one. I don't, re I really hardly ever have Nutella, so I can't even recall the taste. Haas Miss Katuki, uh, Launchpad is here. Launchpad GG says, NGL, that looks great. Thanks to everybody watching over there on Twitch. All right, now, here we go. So what I want to do now is we're going to try the last one. Let's try the last one here, guys. It's time to try the pan au chocolat, which has chocolate running through it. 
So I'm going to rip this open, this Pana Chocolat. I've had, I think, I've had one of these, I think, every day or almost every day. Here we go. Gubby Record says, looks amazing. We'll see how it tastes. It feels really nice. Oh, I tried to rip it in the... Ch oh, this is really interesting. It didn't... This one is different because this chocolate is like hard. Not in a bad way, but it's like a little rectangular chocolate bar. So when I tried to rip it apart, it didn't cleanly come apart because I had to literally break the rectangle of chocolate. That's very interesting. The other ones I've had, it has like a soft, you know, a soft chocolate line going through. This one, I had to break the hard chocolate rectangle piece that goes through. Okay, so that's different. That's interesting. And you can see it in there. That's a, it's like a hardened, it's not, that's not really hard, but it's not soft either, right there. See, it's hard. That's different. We'll see how that is. Yeah, Rick Hoppy says, interesting. I would have never known that that's an idea, that that's, that's a possibility. All right, so let's, you know, this looks good. I got a bunch of chocolate right here. I'm gonna have this part. Here we go. Let's go. Pan a chocolat. Bearded Seven says, breaking news, hardened chocolate, exactly. Pan a chocolat, here we go. This place, the pan it has, the, the pan au praline and the pan au chocolat is so good. Both of these are so good here. The pastry, it's light, but it's substantial. And those are both fantastic here. This one with the chocolate and this one with the praline, they're, they're both fantastic. They like fill up your mouth. What can I say? Wow. Let me have another bit. Mm. It's a little heavier than a croissant. That's yeah, cool. Wait. And with the chocolate, it's great. Oh, better with the chocolate than without the chocolate. And if you get a bite. Mm. So... Man, it's tough. I think I'm going to have to have one more bite of the praline one to compare it with the chocolate one. Uh, Shark, Shark in the Dark says there's a bakery in Western Mass that is Paris level. I'm just looking for an excuse to go back. So this place is great. This place is called Bo and Me. B-O and M-I-E. And we are on... Um, what, what, um... What arrondissement is this one in? As I, I'll give you a little shot of, the, of my messy plate now. Here's my messy plate with the remnants of, uh, hold on, messy plate. We got plain croissant, pan au praline, pan au chocolat, raspberry croissant. This is in the third arrondissement. Boulangerie Bow and Me. Bow and Me. Okay, now. I'll actually post, let me, let's see if I can share this with you guys. I rec highly recommend it. Copy. I'm going to post the link to it. Oh, hey, thanks, Janet Burnett, for gifting those memberships. Guys, Janet Burnett just gifted a bunch of memberships. Very nice of her. Thank you, Janet. I really appreciate that. I'll post it in the Twitch chat, too. Hold on. <laughs> yes, the Spaceman from Earth. It's a nice boulangerie. Chart in the Dark says, very well reviewed. I bookmarked it 4.7 on Yelp. And on Google Maps, I think it's 4.6. It 
It's really good. It's really good. This place is good. We're going to eat some more right now, but it's really good. Janet, that's really nice of you. So we're going to have to eat some more of this now. Oh, me is in French, the white inside part of the bread. What is beau in French? Yeah, let me look. Let me, that's a great idea, translating it from French. Google Translate. M-I-E is crumb. Well, Google Translate says... Oops. What's it doing here? It said me is crumb on my Google Translate. So I don't know if me means crumb or not. You know what's great about this is, um, oh wow, hold on a second. Uh, Janet gave 10 more memberships. Hey Janet, thank you so much. Thanks Janet, that's really nice of you. Wow. Bo means nothing I know in French, says Graz. Um, so I gotta say, one really cool thing about this whole visit here today is this is the first time I've, well, we sort of did it once before, but this is the first, no, this is the really the first. We haven't really done this where we go into a food place and I have my phone with me and I just order a bunch of stuff and we kind of set up shop. I mean, I'm just, I'm just at, no one's, I'm not bothering anyone. I, I'm, I'm next to the window. I'm talking a lot softer than most people here, believe me. And, uh, you know, I do have my, the one weird thing is I have my phone on my gimbal, but the gimbal has a tripod on it, so it's that's the one noticeable thing. But um, you know, I'm not really calling attention to myself. But it's it's nice to see that uh, that you can do this, right? That certainly doesn't disrupt people in here. It's a loud place, and um, so it's cool. All right, guys. Hey, Carol Mon Monsabes is here. Hey, Carol. Blue Tulips is here. Hey, Blue Tulips. Moon says people don't see them on. A couple of people looked at the gimbal, but it's just like, you know, it's, I'm just, it's, it's, I'm, I'm really, I can really talk soft with, guys, I'm talking so soft with this microphone, and you guys say you can hear me. I'm talking really soft right now. Oh, I didn't post the link. I just posted the link to the place. Oh, Marla V says Bo and me pronounced Bonami for Bonami for a female friend. Maybe so. Maybe so. SEAL Team 6 says, stay safe in Paris. It is low-key dangerous. Well, I've been, you know, been staying in populated areas and stuff. I haven't had a problem here. I mean, I'm sure it's, from what I heard about Paris, it's like any big city might be in the U.S., you know. It's a big city. But uh, those DJI mics are good. Yeah, it's really good. All right, let's finish. Let's get some more stuff. All right, we, let's do one more round of tasting. One more round of tasting. We're gonna taste some more of the raspberry croissant. This is awesome. A little more. Again, I, I'm, I didn't know it was gonna be pink on the inside. It has like this, it has like a raspberry jam and maybe pieces of raspberry in there. Here we go. Mm, that's really good. The raspberry one is great. I wish it even had a little more raspberry in it, but it's really good. I'm gonna end up like finishing all of these, you know that. It's my, it, you know, it's, it's fine. We're gonna be walking around in a second. I got a stream later on, so I don't mind loading up on some stuff. All right, let's have another bite of the Han au praline. Again, it's like a sweet nut confection here. This is my favorite one. It's really good. It's really good. That and the Pana Shop are my favorite ones. <laughs> After this, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna walk. All right, some more of the regular croissant.
<clears throat> yeah. Regular croissant is fine. Again, I list it was a, I wish it was a little more buttery. It's a wee bit dry, a wee bit dry. Mort is here on Twitch. Um, and uh, pan au chocolat. This is like my co-favorite here. Oh. So. Let me say something about this one. This has, again, most of these I've tried here, pretty much every one, has some chocolate running through it. But usually the chocolate is kind of like a ribbon of chocolate and soft chocolate. This has like two hard, hard rectangle pieces of chocolate going through it. And it's really good. I haven't seen it done like this. It's fantastic. It's really good. So we gonna let's talk about let's let me figure out where we're going. Right, I'm gonna start eating some stuff. Oh, little piece. Look at the jam. Look at that jam. I'm gonna have that piece in a second. Mm. Vic votes for Garnier Opera. I don't know. If I'm ready to go, I kind of feel like I want to walk around a bunch right now and not go in anywhere at the moment. I kind of really just want to do a bunch of walking. So I think we're going to like pick a neighborhood and walk in it. Uh, tree blesses here. Let me look on my map. I mean, I haven't walked in most of Paris, so... We can just start walking it. We can we can just start walking and going down some streets. Right now, I'm in the third. I haven't walked much in the third. We might just walk around here some. There's the third. Maybe I'll walk to the west. There's the second. I mean, I might just, let's just, we'll wander a little bit. We're going to wander, we're going to wander a little bit, I think, right after this, okay? So let me eat some more of this. Let's just eat some more. Mm. I'm going to finish out. Mm. I'm going to eat a little more. I'm going to power up for the, for the walk. Praline's one. Mm. There's the view outside right now. Look what I got. I got the end with all the stuffing in it. Pretty lean one. Ridiculous. All right. I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to eat too much. I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to get a bag and bring the rest with me. All right. I'm putting these. This is, what, this is going in the bag. It's, it's great, but i got to stop myself. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Guys, that was incredible. We're gonna start walking. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bag to put that stuff in. If I can, if I can find a bag. I'm sure they have them. Hang on a moment. That was so good.
I have to learn what the word for a bag is. What is the word? The word for bag. Sock. 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 Bob Max says sock. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you guys put you guys over here. Get out of here, but let me let me get um, a bag for the stuff. Tu as un sac, uh, s'il vous plaît? <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Okay, I got a, I got a bag. Got my sack. Here we go. My doggy bag. I'm gonna put this in my in my backpack. I can eat it later, if need be. I will leave them a Google review later. That was a fantastic place. Really good. I think next what we're gonna do. Oh, there's a bathroom here. There's a bathroom here. Um, I'm gonna mute myself and, and, and use the bathroom. Let me throw the trash out. Hold on. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna mute myself and use the bathroom. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. So don't worry about that. I know how to. I know how to do it. Hang on. Because there is a bathroom. If I can brush my teeth, that would be amazing. So big experiment as I mute myself and use the bathroom. Hold on. Oh, pardon. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, I'm going to mute. I'm going to put you on mute. I am in the bathroom. I am muting you right now. I am putting you on mute. Okay, I hope the mute worked. Hold on. I am gonna brush my teeth. Hang on, I'm brushing my teeth. So, I think the mute worked. Let's hope. And now I have to brush my teeth before I go. This is very, very experimental here. 
So bear with me, guys. I made sure I wasn't showing anything on the air. You guys can hear me now, right? You testing one, two, three? Testing, testing, testing. Got my toothpaste, my toothbrush. I'm gonna, gonna do this really quick. Okay, sorry for, this is what you have to do so when, you're, when you're streaming, if you wanna keep the stream going. Oh, this is great. I, I've, I've had some times to like wait to brush my teeth and I hate it. I'm just one of those people who really likes to brush his teeth after he eats. Mm. better. Almost done. Almost done. So great. I can't believe it. What a victory. I did it. I did it. Not gonna lie. That was amazing. That was amazing. All right, guys. Here we go. Time to go walk. Time to go walk. Time to go walk. <coughs> All good. Let's go. Okay. Hang on. Wow, that was incredible. That was incredible content. <laughs> uh, so, are you ready to walk? So the, so the mute worked, right? Because I, I, was, I, I was careful you weren't seeing me in the bathroom when I had to use the bathroom. And the mute worked in the bathroom, right? I hope, I gotta put my hat on. Indeed it worked, okay. Uh, hang on. Oh, you know what I got to do? What I'm going to do? Let me just... The one thing that I didn't think of... Okay, we're good. The one thing I should have remembered... Here's where I went wrong. Which is... The battery is fine right now, but I probably should have powered up the battery a little bit while, um, while sitting down because it's like at 61 now. So we're gonna stream some more, but in like an hour, I think I'd have to power it up a bit, sit somewhere. So yes, uh, it worked for this Fufu Fantasia, um, Confused Squirrel. So here's the deal. It's, it's um, 10.55 right now. Let's get away. Here, by the way, the place we ate, which was great, is Bo and Me. Bo and Me, if you are here in the third arrondissement, Oh, hold on a second. Margaret messaged. Hold on. I'm just messaging. Had a great time at the bakery, comma, even used the bathroom. She's flying out. Hope your flight is good. I am still alive.
Okay, now. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell her all about the bathroom thing. So, um, so, and again, this is a lovely, the bakery's a lovely place. So check out the bakery, Bow and Meat. That's where I was. Okay, so what I think we should do is, here's what I think we should do. So right now it's about 11 a.m. here, okay? Um, and something, we're going to walk some because I just ate a ton of crap. Not, not crap, it's awesome. But I got to walk off some of that stuff. Um, so we're going to walk a little bit. We're going to explore and just like walk, I think, for an hour and just walk around. And um, at 3 p.m. my time in four hours, I need to go um, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be live on Agenda Free TV at 3 p.m. my time. So I really wanted to be back at my place by about 1.45, 1 1.30, 1.45 my time because I got to set up the whole broadcast and everything and I want to make sure everything is working right. So I think we should maybe like walk for an hour and then maybe in an hour I can get like a snack and then sit somewhere and eat like the sandwich or whatever and then, uh, and then um, I can charge the phone because, because the battery will be running down. Um, anyways, so, so why, don't we, why don't we walk? Does that sound good? Just walk around here, um, I guess. Vicki Freeman says, nice weather today. I can walk. Hang on a second. Uh, so, yeah, Agenda Free TV will be on at like 3 p.m. my time. All right, so we're, it just sounds like a great plan. So I'm going to walk, I'm just going to start walking and just going places I think are interesting. I'm in right now, I think I want to go south a little bit, the third arrondissement. But I'm at the top of it. It's so confusing. I don't know which direction I should go in. I could go that way, or I could go this way. All right. I'm covering the Supreme Court uh, ruling on whether Trump can be still on the ballot, which I'm sure it will be that he can be. But I'm covering it anyway. They're ruling on whether states can take Trump off the ballot over the insurrection clause, and I'm sure they're going to say they can't. The states can't do it individually. No, I'm not going to go to Lovelock Bridge right now. It's, it's too far. I, I, we'll do that maybe later. We walked by it yesterday. I showed it yesterday. But maybe we'll do it on, on Tuesday or Wednesday. But right now I'm just going to walk. Um, okay. Let's walk down here. Let's do this. Let's walk down some side streets. So we're walking in Paris. Okay, so we're just going to do this. We're going to walk some. Uh, I really haven't walked in this area down here. So let's just kind of walk and zigzag down towards the river. Hey, Fierce Warrior. Uh, I don't think it'll be that long a stream. I'll probably be streaming on Agenda Free TV from like 3 p.m. my time to 5 p.m. my time. Are the farmers still protesting here? I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't seen them, but I don't know. There's some like abortion protest going on at Versailles today. I know that. Ooh, I have you on wide. I want to put you. I guess we were on wide for a while. Well, no, we were on reverse for a while. No, you weren't on. There are not many McDonald's here, that is one. Look at how pretty the street is. Yeah, it was great having Margaret here, it was awesome. Oh, I should check the news too. Hang on, I'm, I'm checking the news on my second phone. Okay, so you know, one thing, one thing, one thing that's, oh, we should like maybe walk down there? I don't know. Well, let's keep walking.
You know, Graz says there were some protests from time to, or some protests from time to time. Two days ago, farmers were at Arctic Triumph but have been evacuated. Um, so one thing um, we'll talk about later is I have Tuesday and Wednesday here as well. Today I have to be on Agenda Free TV from three to five in the afternoon, so I can't like take a day trip. You know, I, I just. I thought about going to Versailles. I'm, I'm just not really feeling it, to be quite honest. I went there once over 20 years ago, and I'm just not really feeling it. But I, I do want to maybe do a stream tonight where we talk about what we're doing tomorrow. And, uh, you know, maybe I go to a museum. Maybe I go to a museum. I don't know. Uh, the way the museums are, it's like, just looking down these side streets, the way the museums are, uh, you know, they have these rules where, like, most of them you're not supposed to shoot video for a commercial purpose. So, I mean, my stream would be kind of a gray area if I don't monetize the stream. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone would stop me from shooting there. The problem with the museum is you can't talk. I can't be walking around a museum and talking to you guys. J A and P. If, if I see any antique stores, I will certainly let you know. That's also something we'll do. So, I'm just thinking about uh, things we could do. There, there's a bunch of foods I want to try. So that's definitely the case. Oh, we so we walked a little bit this way before. So we need to we need to maybe go left or right because I remember we kind of walked down here before. So I think I'm going to cross the street. I think I want to go that way maybe. Maybe that way? It's so hard to tell. Let's go down here. I'm gonna go down here and then I'm gonna go left, I think. A night walk down the Champs, Champs Elysees. Elysees. Champs Elysees. Yeah, we could go to the Arc de Triomphe. Not that I'm so excited about doing that but it's something we could do <laughs> um we went to the eiffel tower yesterday and we climbed up that that was great oh there's a lovely park here look at this park you're entering into a garden without tobacco okay uh how do i get in here here oh look this is just a nice park look at this guys oh and they have toilettes i'm not i don't need to go I don't know if they're working. It says occupied. They do have a public toilet here. That's interesting to know. They had a public toilet here. Uh, so this is a lovely park. We are in the third arrondissement. Yeah, Mr. Helium says Champs Elysees is an awful tourist trap. Like pretty much you know, uniformly the recommendations I've seen has said walking on these shops on Champs Elysees it's very touristy there the street is beautiful beautiful so I don't have a huge need to do it I mean we are here for three days um, again today I'm gonna to be streaming in the afternoon on Jennifer TV so that kind of restricts things there's a bunch of food stuff I want to do but you know do we take a day trip or do we go to a museum or something that's uh, we'll have to figure that out but this is a park here um, I just kind of stumbled upon. Uh, and it's nice. You know, something else I noticed is the fountains seem to be all turned off this time of year. I'm sure when it gets warmer, they turn them on, but they seem to be all turned off. Um, Linda says no homeless. I, not in this park. You know, I've seen a few. I thought there'd be more. I'm sure there are some places. There have not been many people panhandling that we've come across. Uh, but, you know, it's a big city, so I haven't been around the whole city. All right, so let's keep going, shall we? But, yeah, I, I, again, this is, it's interesting to, uh, it's 
kind of neat to see all this. Hold on, let me, let me just kind of show you around here. It's just interesting to kind of be like, all right, I'm here. What are we going to do today? But today is different because I know I have to stream. So I got to be back in a couple hours. Got some older ladies over there hanging out. Haven't seen any gendarmerie there. I've, there's police in different places. Is the gendarm the national police? Is that what it is? If I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm probably not. Rick says the problem with the arc is the only way to access it is by the tunnel. You have to go to a tunnel under the street. Well, maybe the stream would come out for a little bit while I'm in a tunnel if I went. You know, another thing we could do is we could take like a Sen River cruise. Um, and then I would just show you what that's like. Um, I did that like 20 years ago, but it was really fun. And uh, I'm guessing you guys would get a kick out of it. Uh, so there's that. Feed the birds? No, I'm saving the bag for myself. So oh, I'm going to just check the news here. I need to check on my phone. Hang on, I'm checking my one. Sorry, I'm just checking my phone right here. I'm just checking for news. While I check for news on my phone, which I haven't done in a few minutes, uh, look at this, have a look at this building over here. I think this is a museum, like a, a science, history of science museum, because we walked by here before. Okay, I'm good. Somebody said they would love that. No, I can't go to London, right? It's too, it's a whole thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna go, I have three days left here. It's a, it's a, I'm not gonna spend four hours on the train to London and hundreds of euros. Oh, Squishmallow is here. Hey, Squishmallow, good to see you, Squishmallow. Seattle Team Six is here. Yep, we got Squishmallow. Ah, oh, thanks, Squishmallow. You too. Hey, let's walk down here. Let's walk down here. I don't think we've been down here yet. That was a fun trip to the bakery. Yeah, we walked down this street that way before, so I want to go somewhere else. We are walking in Paris. It's lovely, basically blue sky today. It's really nice. Rick says there is no city with more museums than Paris. They even have a museum of bread, Museum du Pain. Uh, the, the river cruise is beautiful. You know, maybe I'll look into doing a river cruise. Maybe I'll research that tonight, a river cruise. Uh, that could be a fun thing for us to do. Are these office buildings? I don't know if these are office or residential or both right here. William Cromer is here. So we're just walking around today, having some fun. Oh, we're getting close to the Marais area. That's good. So I'll kind of keep going. I'll kind of keep zigzagging and going. Uh... What I'm going to do is kind of kind of go straight here. I'm looking at my map. 
and then zigzag. I think that's what I should do. So go straight and then to cross. Hey, Charlie is here from the UK. What a lovely day it is out. Oh my gosh, it's so nice out. Texas, Annie is here. The other thing I forget is, it is uh, 5 a.m. Eastern time and 2 a.m. Pacific time. I know the timing is tough for you guys, uh, but maybe some people will watch later too. I mean, it's just there's just pretty buildings everywhere. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go down there. So we're gonna cross here. We're gonna cross here. Green light. Then we're gonna cross there. Okay, so this is interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna kinda wander to the streets in here. Kay says sleep is overrated anyway. So look at how pretty this is. Joe South Oz says, perfect time for us in Australia. Oh, there's some stuff down there. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do, so much to see. You know, just wandering around is great too. So I'm gonna, right here, we're gonna start wandering. We're kind of near La Marais area. William says, I will be here on your other channel. Thanks to all of our mods, too. Look at how pretty it is today. Sound is good, hopefully. Sound all right, everybody? Oh, I can check how the sound is. I can pull the broadcast up. On, I can pull it up on my phone. All right, testing. Phone. Oh wow, you guys can hear me well. You guys can hear me well because I'm listening. I'm listening to it right now on my phone. Oh wow, you guys can hear me well. That's great. You that works good. Working good. Here's another, uh, this is a uh, another food place here. There's another bakery right over there. We were just in one. If you missed it, we spent the first like hour and 20 minutes of the stream in this really good boulangerie bakery eating stuff. We had some great pastries. Oh, look, you know, something else we're gonna do at some point is we're gonna go sit at one of these outdoor cafes, not right now, and just sit and have a, maybe I'll have a sparkling water and we'll watch people go by. People do that here. Okay, look at this. Look at this, look at these small streets. I love these small little streets here. Look at the small street here. We are live in Paris. Uh, croissant au fromage for lunch. I, I might grab a sandwich before going back for lunch. It's going to be a little weird with lunch because I got a stream today. Oh, this is a Chinese restaurant. Don't see many of these here. Oh, there's a lot of people waiting here. I wonder what this place is. Oh no, that is a so that is, look at this, this is Che Zhu. Let me look up what Che Zhu is. It smells good. All right, I'm gonna look up what that place is, Che Zhu. Why is everybody in line at Che Zhu behind me? You see they're all at Che Zhu? Rune says many bakeries, cafes, and restaurants. Looking on my phone here, where is she? You? Why? Don't even see it. Let me type it in, guys. Let me type it into my phone. Because people are lining up there. I want to see what that's all about. Looks like just like a Chinese restaurant. Shei Zhu. 
Oh, here it is. I found it. Sheju. Okay, this has, it's a 4.3 Specialties de Wenzhou. Canteen-style stop for noodle soup, seafood, and other dishes from the coastal region of Wenzhou, China. So I'm not going to go in there. We just ate. It's a Cantonese restaurant. It has 4.3 on Google. So again, big line in there. So maybe a place if we're walking by later, we can check out later. Although I don't really feel like a strong, maybe it's really good. I don't feel a strong urge to, there's a number of Asian places on this street, by the way. I don't feel a strong urge to have Chinese food while I'm in, uh, I'm in um, Paris. Look at this. This is kind of weird, this place. Oh, that's very weird. I don't feel like a place like this in Paris. That's a pho place. A, Viet a bunch of Vietnamese around here. So we've clearly stumbled upon a street with a bunch of Asian restaurants. Oh, now look at this. Look at this small. Oh, look at how pretty this little area is. Can you see this? Let me, let me go wide angle for you guys. These little streets here. Look at this, guys. Look, 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 look. Look how pretty it all is. Look at this. I hope my phone still works in these, these, uh, these little the streets can be kind of tough. I think it should. Oh, wow. You found La Chinatown, says a starch face. Right, maybe we'll go up that way. Hold on. Let me check my map and see. I want to. This is really neat in here, though. I just love walking down these streets and kind of just seeing what's here. Okay, hang on. I'm getting my map up. So we could go that way. Yes, we're going to go that way, down one, then across. We're going to just go, we're going to just go back and forth here as we make our way south towards the river and just see some of these side streets. I mean, just look at this. How cool is this? How cool is this? We're just wandering around. Oh, this is a... Chinese store. So this is definitely uh, a bunch of Asian businesses in this area. This looks like some kind of Asian food place. Yummy, yummy. So for whatever reason we are in, we've stumbled into this Asian street. Well, Asian businesses Many Asian businesses street. Asian grocery. Oops. Guy is selling some stuff on the street here. Yes. So we just stumbled upon it. I didn't know this was here. This is cool. I like doing this. I love just walking through the area and seeing what's here. Paris Longboard. It's a skateboard shop. Paris Longboard. How about that? There's another skateboard shop right here. Le Shop. So two skateboard shops. Hey, K Body, thanks for modding. Very interesting. Um, uh, you can see. So this, this little street here is a lot of Asian restaurants and businesses. That was really interesting. That was really cool. Really cool. Hey, Theodore Johnson. And then we come out here. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful out today. This is what we should be doing today, just walking around. I mean, how great is this? Lefty's right, which says, cool to see this stuff, real Paris. Yeah, I love the meandering. You, you gotta, you know what it is? It can be, um, when you're going around, I mean, I tend to want to do a lot of stuff, and you gotta make a plan, and you plan all this stuff out, and you get really used to jumping from thing to thing to thing, which could be great, you know, because you're getting a lot done. And, but when you start wandering around, you get a little uncomfortable, because you're like, wait, there must be some, what am I doing? But once you start doing it and you relax a little bit, it's really fun. Because when I like right when we left the bakery, I was like, "Oh my gosh, we gotta be, we gotta have some destination." We're just wandering around and seeing stuff, and I really enjoy doing that. So we'll keep doing that for a little bit. We're in the third arrondissement. We're not. If we keep going south, we'll get to the river. I don't know if we'll do that today. 
but yeah, this is great. So let's just keep doing that. Ruth says it's fun. And I can read your comments on the way. Hans Niskatuki. Yeah, Margaret's flying. She's flying back right now. Um, I think she can maybe watch this from the plane, though. So, so uh, yeah, right now it is 1121. And again, I am going to be doing a stream. i got to be back at the place in like a couple hours because i got to be doing uh, an agenda-free TV stream this afternoon. No, I've been private Gomer Pyle. I've been I've been to Paris years ago, like 25 years ago. I was in Paris, but I I was in London last year. Uh, oh look, this is a place here. This is like a grocery here, Natural Boberg. Fruits and vegetables. So, I've been to Iceland. I was in Russia a long time ago, but uh, I was in London last year. But I really, this is like the first trip where I've really done the live streaming thing a lot. Yes, I'll be meeting Euro Maestro and also um, Cupcake L. I will be meeting them. I don't know exactly when yet. That's going to be worked out, but I will be. I think I'm going to meet Cupcake L tomorrow night. Um, so, uh, but this is the first time I've done this where I've gone someplace and just streamed a lot. Um, and so, look, if this goes, if this goes okay, this stream, I'll do it again. I'll pick another city and I'll just go and I'll do it. Is there a fashion district? You know, Pink, that's a really good question. Um, I believe there are dirt and certain shopping districts. And that's a good question to know for the next couple of days. Um, right now we're walking around here, but uh, let me look up on my phone here. Best shopping district in Paris. Vintage clothing. Hold on. Vintage clothing. I'm Googling it to see what I find. There are a bunch of... What is vintage? I got to look it up. I'm not sure if there's like... I'm sure there's like certain streets with a lot of clothing stores on them. I just... I don't have it handy right now. Uh, that is certainly something to look up though. Place Vendome for shopping, says Texas Annie. Let me, let me, let me add that to my list here. I'm talking about a place with like different, I don't really shop much for clothes myself, but it might be fun to go into some of those stores. Um, let me just add that to my list and, and I'll research it later. Clothing shopping store. Street. Okay. Well, let's keep walking. Place Vendome is my, I'm, see, I'm not even talking about the famous brands. I just mean like a store where they have a bunch of boutiques. I think in Montmartre they might. That's a little more interesting to me. I, I don't really need to go to like the the mall area where they have famous brands. I just I, I would be I would be more interested in going to like a place where they have like you know interesting stores selling kind of boutiquey stuff just to see what they're selling. All right, we're gonna go down the side street here. Oh, what is this? See, this is a. I'm not gonna go in. This is a clothing. This clothing or rugs. There's a place there that sells like fruits and jams and stuff. This place here looks like it sells maybe textiles, fabrics. It's like a fabric store made for people who make dresses. Francois. See all the fabrics in there? So this is another little side street here. Let's see what's on this side street. A nail salon store, a laundromat, noodle shop, a fancy Thai store, exactly. Yummy salad bar, Hanami tea time. Again, there's a lot of, in this particular area, there's a lot of uh, Asian businesses. That looks like a good place there. Hanami Tea Time. 
Yummy Salad Bar, New York. Buy Margaret a fancy scarf. We'll see what I come across. I have to be careful about overloading my luggage. I might have, I might have too, too heavy a luggage suitcase. Who knows, maybe I'll come across something that she would might like, that I might think she might like. Uh, Vietnamese cuisine. I love this street. Uh, this says Studio Fauve, and it looks like some kind of place where they do hair, maybe? Because they have, like, I think hair product, maybe makeup. It's a little market over here. Excessive Forest has so much history. Pepita, that is an Argentinian, canti Argentinian, Argentinian cantina. Oh, so just so you can see, I'm going to show you over this place. There's all these food outlets here. This small little street. So look here. There's this place. It says, look at the stuff in this place. They, they have a fine foods place. Uh, that's eight euros, seven euros. Curry, oh, legumes. Legumes is beans, isn't it? This is apple tart, about seven euros, which is expensive for here. I bet it might be really good, though. And that's a chocolate, some kind of chocolate cookie thing. Uh, it's called pulpa. Okay, and they have jams and stuff. Janet Burnett says, yummy. Wild food juice bar. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is a, it's Boucheri is butcher? Is this a butcher? Right? Am I wrong? I think I have to. Here, I'm going to look this up. Artisan Boucher. Butchery Gras says. So this place has all these meats in there. Look at that. There's, I mean, in the middle of this neighborhood, there's a butchery. Wow, very cool. See, it's a butchery. But it's this little place. Not a big place. Boucherie de Graviers. I just ate some. You know, that's a place where I could go and I could get a slice of something. I'm not going to go right now, but you can like, oh, there's going to be there's, there's a big thing here where somebody's pulled over. So a delivery driver pulled over, and now nobody can get past them on this street. It's going to be a big, big to do. It's a small street, and somebody pulled over to deliver something, and then the cars behind them are all mad now. What happens here? See, look. Look at the cars behind that one car. See? Drama. Confused Girl says, that's not a smart place to stop. Yeah. Uh, here is, look, so there's some clothing places here. I'm not going to go to these places. The lighting is kind of, it says gallery or shop. It looks like maybe they sell women's clothes there, hats and furry things. And then this is a temporary showroom for Katharina Hoff, Hoffman. Some fashion places here. Oh, by the way, this is still going on down here. That's still happening. That car is still pulled over to deliver something. It's been there for like 
several minutes now and nobody can get by them. In the U.S., people would be honking more, I think, and yelling and screaming. Here, all that beeping is because the person is pulled over. It's really weird. It's, <laughs> what a weird situation this is. The person's still pulled over. See that? But now he's going, now he's going. He just pulled over in the middle of the street. But there's nowhere to pull over on this street if you want to drop something off. Where do you pull over? This is a bag store. Look at the bag store. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show you what, it looks, what that looks like inside that store. Bags. Oh, see, it's it's interesting. People keep stopping on this street, and nobody can get by. It's it's really difficult. Everybody keeps stopping. We're on Rue de Graviers. Rue de Graviers, third arrondissement. Right, I gotta get back, get by everybody here. So you're getting to see a little Paris right now. Uh, okay, we're, we're definitely. That looks like maybe some, a gallery or something. That says temporary showroom, Susanna Blue. So that's the second. That looks like, it says gallery of art, but interior spaces, but it looks like they have fashion there too. So I'm not really sure what they're showing off there. Is it clothes? Is it other stuff? I don't know. Then this is another uh, Glamo of Paris. It's like a clothing store here. Actually, somebody was asking about shopping, and it looks like I've kind of stumbled onto a part of this street where there's lots of shopping. I mean, you're seeing it. I'm going, this is a jeweler here. Jeweler, see? So, and then this is a bag store. No retail, only wholesale. That's interesting, you know, a couple of those places behind me um, said showroom. It's almost like this is a, uh, this street is for like retail people to come and buy stuff to sell at their retail stores. I don't know, but see it says, it says no retail, only wholesale. Um, wholesale only, reserved for professionals. What is it? It says minimum de a chat. Is that minimum purchase, like 200? Let me see what that says, that, that sign on the front. I'll use my translation app. That's interesting. Let's see if this works. Camera. Oops. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was blocking this. Uh, hang on. Got to go to French, to English. Okay. It says, it's not really translating it. Anyways, you can see the deal. Sorry. So it says, only for professionals, wholesale only, minimum purchase, 200 euro, it looks like. So it's like a, ba it's a wholesale bag store. This looks like a watch parts store. How about this? Wow. <laughs> Got all of these bands. That looks like a wash parts store. Okay. Interesting. 
Jojo's dough, homemade cookies. Homemade cookies. Um, so this area, there's all kinds of stores in this area. I mean, we're just walking down. Oh, up the street, the real couture, says Ruth. So certainly a lot of shopping in this area that we're walking around. Chagrin Falls is here. Enormous. Uh, let's, um... Hold on a second, I got a message from Margaret. Hang on. Hey, let me let me let me check in with our audience here. Hang on. Check the battery first. What's the battery at? 38. I gotta charge soon. I'll charge in a little bit. Okay guys, so we're here in the third arrondissement. We're kind of just walking around some of these side streets and seeing what's here. I hope I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, it's fun for me to just sort of see what's what's uh, on these side streets here. I mean, I'm just walking up and down these streets, seeing what's here. Uh, so I hope you're having fun. That's what we're doing right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, a little later today, I'm gonna be on Agenda Free TV. It's 11.38 here right now. At 3 p.m., I'm going live on Agenda Free TV to cover the Supreme Court ruling about Trump eligibility, which supposedly is gonna be at 4 p.m. my time. Um, and uh, so we're wandering around, around here. I think what I need to do is we'll wander a little more. Then I'm going to have to sit and do some sit and charge the phone. So, uh, but we'll keep wandering. Kay says it's very interesting. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you a, a picture of what it's like on some of these streets, you know. Um, Lunali says it's really fun. I guess if people don't like it, they're not watching. But this is really fun for me to just wander, get, kind of get lost in these streets and wander around. So we'll keep doing it. Um, and... Uh, at a certain point, I'm probably going to grab up maybe a... There was a place I wanted to go to get a sandwich before I went home. Where is that place at? Just, just so I can get a, a picture in my mind of... The place I wanted to get a sandwich is called, I think, Shea Aline or something. Um, because I, I was thinking I'd pick up a sandwich there before going back to my place. Shea Aline? Yeah, that's open now, and that's not that far away. So that's where I should go. Where is it compared to where I am? Right. That's actually be very convenient. The sandwich place will be very convenient. Um, but I don't want to go there yet. Robin Ridge says, thank you for sharing. So we're going to keep going here and, and look at some of these places. Um, there's certainly, there's going to be more of me, like, tasting stuff in the future. But I did, I did just eat. MG Monkey is here. Nevi. Graz says, you are, yes, Graz, I'll be wearing my shirt and tie. Fufu Fantasia says, it's really cool, awesome. So we'll keep going here. Really nice day out. So we're here in the third arrondissement. Uh, we got a cafe there. We got a lot. It looks like a patisserie. This has uh, desserts and stuff. Ooh. I wonder if they'll let me show. I'm going to see if they let me show. Uh, I, wa I, w I really want to show what they have here. Look at this. Wow. This is a uh, typical, it's like another bakery. Mm -hmm. it, it, can, can, it okay for me to? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so they said it's okay if I show you guys the, uh, if I show some of this stuff.
I have to figure out to say, is it okay if I show the food? I'll look that up. But just to show you what they have, they have fish. That's good. Mm. Oh, they have a ham and butter sandwich? They have flan. They have fun nature. I might get something, you never know. Oh, they have croque monsieur. I'm sure these are good. Yes, they have sandwiches. What is it? Let me, let me see what the review. Fromage. I'm going to look up a review of this place. Wow. They have a tart. Uh, they also have all this. Oh, they have pan au raisin. Maybe I'll get a pan au raisin here. I love, I love raisin bread. I might get one here. Hang on. Let's see what I get. Let me see what I get here. Hang on, guys. I'm looking up the place. I'm not, a clear would be too heavy for me right now. Hang on. Pre Dupont. Uh, I want to see what the name of this place is. What is the name of this place? It says Patisserie Boulangerie Artisanale. Non artisan. Oh, uh, I can't even tell what the, what the name of it is. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting it. They were really nice there. They were nice for letting me. I was just showing you the stuff. A tart, so many choices. Hold on, we all want one of each. <coughs> Savory time. Back to the pastry shop. How would you choose? So many yummy pastries. I'll take the quiche, get a hot dog. I have had croque monsieur. It's very good. It's very good. I don't know if I want anything yet. Let's see. Uh, it says... Looks like a good place. Oh, they also have... Um, they have more sandwiches here. Look at this. They have... Uh, hang on. They have a chicken sandwich. They have... Pan all late Basque sandwich. Wow. All these sandwiches. Italian sandwich. Wow. Very neat. Uh, Pre Dupont, it says, I think. Yeah, that looked good in there. Things I just ate. Pre du. I don't know why I can't find it. I mean, I'd like to find it on like Google Maps, and I can't find it. Anyone figure out where that is on Google Maps? It doesn't like have a name. Hold on, sorry. Like, I know where I am, and I can't find... <sighs> Why can't I find... Oh, Leroy de Peak. I don't think that's it. Oh, that's across the street. Oh, let Atelier Lay? Is this it? Bakery. Oh, guys, guys, can you guys hear me? The rating is 3.7 for this bakery. 3.7. Well, they were nice there. The woman like basically said to me, I didn't know how to ask whether to show, I, I just wanted to show the food. 
and she basically thought, and she said, like, don't show me, show the food. <laughs> so I got to figure out how to say, is it okay if I, if I show the food? How about, is it okay to take a picture of the food? <laughs> that might be a better way of saying it. So if I wanted to say this in English, is it okay to take a picture of the food? That didn't work. Is it okay to take a picture of the food? Est il acceptable de prendre un photo de la nourriture? Yes, so I guess the way I would say it is Est il acceptable, acceptable de prendre une photo de la nourriture? Grâce c'est est-ce que je peux prendre une photo de la nourriture, s'il vous plaît? Right, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que je peux prendre and photo de la nourriture, s'il vous plaît. Uh, what is montrer? Est il acceptable de montrer la nourriture? Also, est il acceptable de prendre un video de la nourriture? How's that? I know I can show this on the phone. I think she thought I wanted to see people in there. S K Esker. S S K is Esker. S K je peux filmer la nourriture, s'il vous plaît. All right. That's because she was like, she didn't even know what I was asking. Okay, I don't, I just want to, I don't, you know, I don't want to make people uncomfortable or anything like that. All right, we'll keep walking. Anyways, I thought it was neat to show you guys, even though the bakery had a 3.7 review. Looked good, but I like to kind of go off the reviews. Uh... I'm just, I'm just, uh, maybe it's great. I don't know. Let's, let's, um, Sunshine Arizona is here. But she was like, she thought I wanted to show the people. And I was like, no, no people. Just, I was pointing at the food. Ask her. So next time we go in a situation like that, I'll ask you guys how to pronounce it. Maybe in a little bit we'll go get a sandwich. Hey, Fruit Carton find us here on Twitch. Ooh, bag store. Hirsch. Red Swan. Fanny Fuchs. A lot of stores. Hey, Fukartafan. Not Esker. Eska. Eska. Northwards Hiker says your pronunciation is fine. Uh, Cutter, on the other hand. Now, we're going to cross here and go down. You know, let's go down this street here. See, some of these side streets are so pretty. Look at how pretty this street is, guys. You can just walk down streets like this. Look at how pretty this street is. I mean, come on, guys, look. Look at how pretty it is. Just some random street. Third arrondissement.
Graz says, you, you can just say, Je pu filmer, s'il vous plaît. It is short, simple, and clear. J pu filmer. What is J pu? What is pu? Je pu filmer. What is. No, I want to say la nourishment because if you, people think you might want to like film everyone, that was the issue there. She thought I wanted to show the people, and all I wanted to show was the food. Oh, je pu is want? Je pu is want? Is it? Je pu filmer la nourriture, s'il vous plaît. What is pu? <laughs> je pu? What, is the, what does that mean? Is it want? How about je vu or je voudrais? Je voudrais is I would like. So you don't say it's okay, you say, just say je pu, want. So if I go in there, would it be polite to say, uh, pardon, je pu? Filmer la nourishment, s'il vous plaît? Can I say it that way? How's that sound, guys? Can't, I could. I can. Poo is can? La nourriture. We oui, says Fofo. Fofo says we. Oui. Je pu. Filmer, filmer, la nourriture, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> I can try it somewhere. Okay. Pou is from the verb pouvoir. Okay, so that's what I'll try next time I'm in a place like that. Pardon. Je pu filmer la nourriture, s'il vous plaît. Okay, that's good to know. Buffering? Sorry, it's buffering. I, I don't have any kind of error on my signal on my phone here. Je pu filmer la nourriture, s'il vous plaît, is perfect, says Graz. Okay. Puis je, if you want to ask a question. Puis je, so not je puis. No, I don't even know. I have all these different... Uh, hopefully they'll understand me. Uh, washing and drying place. Poo isn't pronounced poo, more like... Something, more like what? Pear? Pear? Je poo? Je poo? It's pretty over here. Little market. Uh, this is another bakery here. So many bakeries. Boulangerie, patisserie. Another bakery in here. More like pear, but without the er sound, pear. Je peux? <laughs> oh, this is a postal card. I gotta send my mom a postcard. I'd like to do this. So this is like a fashion-y area, I think, because I see a Paul Smith store. Oh, we're gonna have to charge the phone shortly. We're gonna have to charge the phone shortly. I'm gonna have to sit and charge it for 10 minutes. I wonder if there's a park near here where I can sit and charge the phone for 10 minutes. Hang on. Maybe there is. We're having a bit of a charging. I mean, we've been streaming for several hours. Oh, um, there is a park two blocks north of here. There's a park where I can sit, I think. But there's also a park. Oh, the oh, I'm going to show you the National Archive Gardens. I'm going to show you that. There's a great park, guys, where I was yesterday. I'm going to show you a gorgeous park right now. Are you ready, guys? There is a garden where we ate our sandwiches yesterday, and it's gorgeous. And I'm going to show it to you. Coming up, I think, 
if I'm in the right place. I think there was a really nice kind of private, well, not public, but secluded park garden area at the National Archives, which we're not far from right now. And I think I'm going to run, in it, run into it shortly. And I'm going to show you this place. And it'll be great because we can sit for a second and I can sit down and I can charge up my phones a little bit. So let's do that in a second and then we can discuss what's to come. Here is a crepes. No, it's not crepes at all. I thought it was crepes. It's an assurance. Is that insurance? Lunch bar. Rue des Archives. Yeah, we're right near the National Archives. I want Je Vu. Again, the E air side. E air side sound that's hard to say. It says Barb Mac. Thanks, Barb Mac. Guys, I'm going to show you a really neat park right now. That's what I'm going to do. A really neat park. Musée de la Chasse de la Nature. Is that like, what is Chasse? Hold on, hold on. I'll show you this for a second. This is a museum, an art museum. Hey, I don't know if Rick Hoppy is still with us. Hunting and Nature Museum in two 17th and 18th century mansions, housing artworks and various stuffed animals. In two 17th and 18th century mansions, it says. The, it's a museum. Look at this, wow. Chasse means hunt, Raj says. Thank you. It's a museum of hunting and nature. Okay, we should be right near that entrance to the... That has very good reviews, the Museum of Hunting and Nature, by the way. Right, now, we're right near the National Archives here. Where is the entrance to... I think it's right down here. Remember right. Where do we go in? Here. The garden. How do we get in the garden? How do we get in the garden? Okay, I have to walk down one block and take a left. We're walking down one block and taking a left, and then we'll get into the National Archives garden, which is lovely. I want to show you guys this, and it'll allow me to sit and charge the phone for a minute. Somehow I ended up near where I was yesterday. Somehow. Look at those buildings up there in the distance. Alibaba is here. Graz says, French language is difficult, and I think if I were a foreigner, I would not study it. So, je peux filmer la nourriture, s'il vous plaît? So we're going to go around this corner, and I think I'll have to show my bag to the guard. And then we'll go in and sit in this lovely garden. That's my plan. Look at those buildings there. Ah, Graz said perfect. Thank you, Graz. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this building. Uh, monastery. It says monastery. Look at that. Hang on. Monastery. De RP de la Mercy. Is that reconstruct? 
constructed or something in 1227, 1727 to 1731. Hang on. So this says... I don't even see this listed on, on Google, on the maps. Look at the lamps. But I mean, just somebody, I mean, it's a gorgeous place. Look at the, look at the place, it's gorgeous. But like it has like a store, in it. like that's a store, that's a perfume store. And that I think is a salon. So it's this lovely old monastery uh, yeah, it looks like maybe it was rebuilt from 2012, 1727 to 7, 1731. If, if reconstru, reconstrut, reconstrut, what does reconstrut mean? Reconstrut, rebuilt, rebuilt between 1727 and 1731. And again, now it has a salon in it and a perfume store. But it's really cool. I mean, look at this building here. All right, guys. Reconstructed. Reconstruct? Construct. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go into this garden. Hopefully it's open. We're at the National Archives, and there's a garden you can walk into and just chill out. How do you say again in French? How do you say again? How do you say again in French, guys? I can look it up here. Anybody know? Again? Again in French? Encore? Encore. So I could say bonjour encore if it's the same, gu same guard. All right, here we go. Here is the garden. Get ready, guys. I'm taking you into a little place I found yesterday, if I can go in there. I'm gonna take my backpack off. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, no guard. Here we go, you right? Oh. Bonjour. Super, bonne journée. Well done. Oh, so, yeah. oh, sorry. Ah, merci. Here we go. Here we are. In the Garden of the National Archives. How about this place? How about this place, guys? Is this lovely or what? So we're going to take a little break here, and I'm going to charge my phones. The Garden of the National Archives. Isn't this cool? Just here. So what I need to do is I need to charge the phone. All right, hang on a second, and then we'll talk as I'm charging the phone. What would be nice is if I could sit in the shade. So let me go sit in the shade. Uh, but with a better view. I'm in the shade right now, but the view isn't the best. Uh, how do I do this? Let's see. The tough thing is I want to show you guys. The, I want to leave it like this, but I want to charge it at the same time. Mm, I could sit on the ground. I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit right here so you can see okay hold on okay we are at this garden right now
Hang on, I'm, I gotta plug in. I gotta plug in the charger for the phone. Hang on a moment, guys. I'm charging. I gotta charge the phone that's that's shooting this. This is a, this is a little bit of a complex activity here. Is it gonna fit? If I put this down here, I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, I'm just gonna sit up. Sorry, I'm gonna find the best way to do this. Hang on. Yes, I have portable battery on me. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off of here. So there's gotta be, I've never done this before where like, I don't have like a table to put it on. I'm sitting on a bench right now. Let me take this thing off. Okay, I just took the phone off. And what I gotta do, I'm gonna take the mic out now. Give me a moment, I gotta, I gotta do this a certain way to charge things up. We're gonna take a few minutes and charge things up here. So I have my adapter. So we're gonna take the mic thing out, plug the adapter in, plug the charger into the adapter, and you and I are gonna have a little chat while we're in this lovely garden. should be charging right now. Yes, it is charging now. The phone is charging. That's great. And then I'm going to plug the microphone in. So you can hear me on the microphone. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, good. Wonderful. Okay, so you're looking at me right now. And we're now in the the National Archives, which is gorgeous. And we're sitting here, we're charging the phone, and we're hanging out. Graz says, I'm so happy you can enjoy nice weather today. Me too. So let me kind of sit here for a second with you guys, and we'll have a little discussion about what's going on. I'm going to take get some water. Oops. I'm going to get some water. So we had to sit, we're about two and a half hours into the stream and the battery's getting low. So I'd like to charge up so we can. Do a little more streaming. I'll turn around, I'm gonna read you about this garden too. But let me charge my other phone too. There's a lot of, char I have two, two charging packs. Let me pull out my other charging pack. Big experiment here. Here's my other charging pack. So I'm gonna plug my other phone into there. Oops. Sorry, I'm just trying to set all of this up. Okay. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have a discussion. <laughs> so I appreciate, uh, so, oh, so here's where we're at. Let me, t it's really nice out by the way. What is the temperature right now? Yeah, I went to the market. Hans Landis says, are you close to Marge de Enfance Rouge? So um, we went yesterday to this market, which is this famous market called Marge, Marge de Enfance Rouge, which is not that far from here. And it was just too crowded yesterday. So I'd like to try it again at some point. Uh, I don't think I can go there today because I don't have that long before I have to go back to my place because it is actually 1210 right now. And... Uh, We'll take a walk around here uh, before I go, but I have to be back at my place by 1.45 because I'm streaming at 3 on Agenda Free TV. So we just don't have that much more time right now to go do stuff right now. Um, what I'd like to do, I think, right after here is I'll show you around this this uh, little this garden, which is great, but I think I want to stop and get a sandwich and then bring it back with me. Uh, there's a place to get sandwiches. So hang on a second. I'm going to turn the brightness down here. There, well, that's better. So I'm charging both my phones at the same time right now. And uh, I took a little break. But the, we're at this place, the Garden of the National Archives, and it's really nice. And it's just a place that you can uh, sit free. You can just sit and relax. It's kind of like hidden. 
And uh, I mean, look at this, it's gorgeous. And I'm just kind of here hanging out and charging my phones. Yeah, Rick says the treats in my snack. Well, I, I love those things, but I gotta grab, I'm gonna grab a sandwich uh, right after this. So, um, Marty says, nice day for a walk. So, uh, while I'm charging my phone, let me look up the charging my phones. <laughs> let me look up uh, the situation with this place I want to go, with the sandwich place I want to go. Oh, the pigeon smells my bread, I think. Pigeon, go away. Go away. You're not getting my croissant remnants. Okay. Hang on a second here. Uh, Pink says, great meander. Okay, so what I want to do is this, the sandwich place, I was interested in how far away is that from here? Shailene, oh no, 27 minutes. That's not gonna, we're not gonna have enough time. Yeah, um, 20 minutes by subway. This is tough. I already see where this is going. I already see where this is going. I don't think it's gonna work. Where is, if I start at the sandwich place, and I head back to my place. Hang on, I'm 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 Google, doing on Google Maps. I'm trying to figure out how I can swing all this. Jeez, this is going to be tough. <laughs> the sandwich place is a little further away than I thought, and uh, my problem is. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta get back by like 145 to my place. You know what I might do, guys? Here's what I might do. Cause I need to get something to eat before before I before I go live today. Um, what I might do is in a couple minutes I might wrap up this stream. Cause I'm gonna be streaming on Agenda Free TV in a couple hours anyway. <laughs> So I might, uh, if I take the subway, it's not so bad, but I can't stream and take the subway. So I might end up doing that. Sorry. Directions. It says, if I take the subway, it's just 13 minutes to the sandwich place. Oh no, but that's the bus. 18 minutes taking the subway. Oops, sorry. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. I think that might be the right call. You know that? Enjoy your sandwich. The signal in Metro isn't bad. Um, I... Th well, I guess I could. I, you know, the thing is, the battery's running low. I think for me, I think at this point, since like I'm, I'm going to be in a bit of a rush, the thing to do will be to like wrap up the stream here. Why don't we? Why don't I walk around? Why don't I walk? Why don't I, let's walk around the garden for a couple minutes? I'm going to show you the garden for a couple minutes, right? That's what we'll do. I'm going to show you the garden. This is the garden of National Archives. I'll show you the garden. Then we'll wrap up the stream. Um, and then I'll go get a sandwich, and you'll see me on Agenda Free TV later. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, Time Out says these large, varied gardens were only opened to the public in 2011. There's other parts of these gardens, too. I haven't even been there. I don't even know where the rest of the gardens are. The Archives Nationals Garden is one of the most... Man, it's a wonderful green area made up of four gardens. I don't even know where the other gardens are. How do I get to the other ones? 
take the entrance on your right. Oh, guys, hold on. We got to walk around for a second here. You will enter the garden via a small alley, one of the oldest streets on the right, Hotel Asi. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly, we're going to quickly walk around here. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to do that. We're at the Garden of the National Archives. We're going to quickly wander around here, and then I'm going to get my sandwich. That's my plan. That's my plan. Okay? So, hang on. Let's just do this. Hang on. We're making a call here. One moment, I think I did this wrong. That and... Hold on, we're a little confused here. Things are a little confused. Oh, hold on. You know what the problem is? Is the, uh, the uh, sorry, the, 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 um, the, the uh, gimbal turned off. There we go. Gimbal's on now. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to go. We got to go. And I'm going to show you guys the garden here. Okay, hang on. I'm going to run around and show you the garden real quick. Garden of the National Archives, and then I'm going to go get my sandwich. So let's just do this right now. Here we go. Here we go. Going to do a, a very quick tour here. Very quick tour. Let's do our very quick tour. You ready? Okay, here we go. Didn't leave anything there. Look, just to show you. Well, I can prove it. I'm looking. I didn't leave anything there. Okay. So we go through here. Hold on. This is amazing. Garden of the National Archives. So supposedly on the right, we can walk through? Maybe not. Is it just this place? Supposedly there's more you can go in. Oh, I might be wrong. Maybe there's not. Maybe it's just this place. It, maybe the rest of it is not open. <laughs> I thought you could get in over here. Oh, people are walking in on the right. Let's see. Oh, right in here. This says here, oh, this is closed to the public. Right, okay. So it says, uh, for reason of work doing construction, the gardens of the Archives National are closed to the public from 5 February to 29 March. So I guess maybe people who work here can walk through. But it says it's closed to the public, so this part is open, but there's a whole other part. There's a whole other part of, the, of this place where you can walk through gardens, uh, but that's not open right now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is really cool. Garden of the National Archives, really gorgeous, free. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I can use this for my thumbnail. Here we go. It's not a bad thumbnail. Hold on. Okay, so guys, I gotta go get a sandwich and head back home so I can do my agenda free TV stream in a couple hours, all right? So I really appreciate you guys uh, joining the stream. It's been really fun. We'll be doing more streaming. Uh, 
Gras says, it's a nice park I did not know about. It's fantastic. It's awesome. Raven Riley says, it's gorgeous. Ash says, imagine working there. What a wonder, what a beautiful place. Pink here, Rune here. Bolso, Bolo Santi says, looks amazing. Oh, did I translate that, that thing wrong? I might have translated the sign wrong. I'm sorry if I did. Uh, anyways, all right, I'm going to take off um, more streams soon. I'll, stream, I'll be streaming more tonight on this channel, and I'll be streaming on Agenda Free TV this afternoon. Marty says, has a nice lunch. Pink says, it's not cashmere, but thanks for the membership. Kiwi, thanks for watching. Basic J, all of our moderators, Rick Hoppy, uh, Northwoods Hockey, uh, Hiker, uh, all of our moderators, like K-Body, uh, David Green, John A., Hey, Reflections, thanks for being here. Mike, uh, Mary Hart. So I'm going to try to get the sandwich and get back to my place and eat it there. <laughs> Relax and enjoy your sandwich. I'm going to grab the sandwich now. Euro Maestro. Euro Maestro, we're going to figure out where to meet up maybe maybe, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Uh, i got to check my messages. I haven't, had I haven't been able to check them yet. Sarah Sherlock, thanks for being here. Um, okay. So, guys, appreciate you joining me for this stream. More streams to come. Um, and uh, Jody Aloha, thanks for being here. Thank you, guys. More streams to come, and I will see you uh, in a little bit on Agenda Free TV in a couple hours, okay? K Body, Raven Riley, thanks for modding. Ruth Crafasi, Pam Turner, Janet Burnett, thanks for the memberships, Janet. All right, I'll see you in a bit. V Dog, I'll see you guys in a bit.